Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Today we are going to be doing a first burn and checking out this new stove from King Camp. They've got three stoves, small, medium, and large. This is their smallest of their lineup, well designed for their teepee tent. They go hand in hand together. That'll be in a future video. But today we're gonna get this stove out. There's been some reviews that I noticed. Uh, people had some complaints on some smoke leakage. I'm pretty sure I can easily solve that problem and it's a very simple. All stoves should be gone over before you burn them or put them into tents. They all have maybe little loose items from shipping and I think that's all that is with the stove. I've seen it, it looks pretty amazing. We're gonna do a first burn, which is always exciting and uh, check out what the stove can do. So this is the nice bag it comes with. The stove is in and around 12 to 13 pounds, so it's a pretty light stove. Let's open her up and check her out. Some cut resistant little gloves, that's a must. Cool rack systems, either side, two of them, that's pretty nice, that's a good feature. This is their chimney adapter, so we'll get to that. So this is the stove. Very nice design so far, I like it a lot. It's got a few things, we'll get to them, but first is this door. I read some reviews that they had some smoke seeping out the door. Well, first thing I notice is just with any stove that would get shipped to you from any company, you gotta go over some of the bolts. From shipping, they come loose. Even in manufacturing, maybe they're just not snug enough. It's up to you to make sure that this door is working right. You don't want smoke in your tent. You don't want carbon monoxide issues. So first thing I saw was this. This handle being just snugged up, which is, they give you the Allen key to do that. Just snug that up, and I bet you this door just seals nice and tight. Excellent. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna seal that up. First inside, all the pipe stoves come apart and store inside the stove. Nice little fire poker. All the pipes, we're gonna pull those out in a minute, but let's just spin this. Nice, both sides, nice glass view. I do like that, a lot of the stoves. I have a G stove, it doesn't have a side view. It has a front little window, but you lose a little bit of that view of the fire, which I actually like. Some, some don't care about it. I like to see the fire when it's going. We're gonna do a first burn, we're gonna see that and uh, see how this window holds up. So we're gonna to get to that, let's move this around. And this is a removable plate, so you wanna burn outside, you can open this up, get full flame coming out here, roast hot dogs, whatever you wanna do. This is your cooking plate, it just attaches on there and it's also got a removable cap so you can also still get some flame, maybe you wanna burn, you know, open flame on a pot, burns it. I, I usually like to just leave them on, um, but we'll get to the stove, see how well that burns. So let's get to the chimney adapter, which I think was the other review issue. And I think all that was, was simply people are not tightening, tightening those bolts down enough. And that's a key feature. You gotta make sure that that seat's nice and tight so there's no leakage for smoke to get through. So let's get that. Okay, so this stove has pull out legs, they actually just pull out and lock into position. They can't go back unless you unlock them and store them back. Very good, so far very solid, I like that. So let's get those out. All right, so this stove has an ashtray drawer. This is the handle for it. It's inside. I, I would say that with the bag, you have to take this handle off every time when you're packing the stove back up, but it seems very simple. Very good quality ashtray, that's for sure. Look at it. Bunch of little zones to keep those ashes sitting in there and they can burn down instead of just a big hump of ash that falls out when you pull this tray out. I, I like that. Just snug it up a bit. I don't, I don't think, don't go crazy. Never over tighten certain things like this. 
sits in there nicely. All right, let's pull this off and get these chimney sections out. So what I'm gonna do, put on these gloves. You can already tell that this is where you'd cut yourself. So why do that when they send you these cut proof or cut resistant gloves anyways, but why not use them? They come with the stove. This is the spark arrester and it's got, they're wrapped up, but we'll open those up, but they've got three nice carabiner tie downs for securing this stove from the wind, highly recommended. We're not gonna do that today because we're gonna burn this stove in. I'm not gonna use all the pipes to do that. Oh, nice, very nice. This is the chimney damper, nice. Huh? Very quickly indicates off being closed, up top open, down open. I always would think that a handle just goes with the flow. So if air should go up a tube, open would be in line with the tube. Same with up there. That's just the way I always look at it. You don't want to leave it closed if you're burning it wide open. Like we're going to burn this wide open to burn this stove in. Very cool. I like that. Now this is the one issue I was saying that I had read, but this is very good quality chimney adapter. You've got three bolts there. And it comes with this tool. So I feel that probably people just weren't tightening it all the way. Loosen it up, make sure it's tight. It's nice and tight. I do notice some stoves have finger locking ones. So I don't see like, I don't see any gappage there. That looks really good to me. So it's probably a user error, not a manufacturer error is my guess. All right, so the next step is putting this chimney damper on. I don't feel like it would be the first piece and be that close to the stove. So I feel like you would put one piece before this chimney adapter because it still sits pretty close to the stove and will cut off the heat flow through there pretty good from there. So we're going to try it there. I'll note in the video whether that's correct or not. So don't be 100% sure that I have that in the right location. Okay, so this is the area I'm referring to. You can see, so I'm gonna put this latch closed. Whoops, it's closed. And you can see, you can still see a fair bit of gap. I can actually see in the stove from there. So if it was a little tighter, that door would stay shut. I think someone might try to bend this, but I don't think you need to. I think you just need to snug up this bolt. Let's do that. I don't even need an inside tool. Yeah, it's already, it's already fairly loose. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that. Oh yeah, look at that, already, already snug. Let's have a look at that. Already that door isn't moving anymore. So we got some wood just to do our first burn with. I've got some nice dry ash, a couple of pieces of pretty slim oak, all nice hardwood, just to burn this thing in nice and slow. I could fill it up with pine or something else. It'll ramp up a big fire, but I don't want any metal deformation um, unnecessarily on the first burn. So I'll, you know, some birch bark, just feed this fire nice, get her going, and burn it for a good hour or so, and uh, see how this stove performs. So let's get to that. It's super windy today, so I'm gonna utilize these Yuko, Yuko? Yeah. Um, 
fire, wind, or sorry, water and wind proof matches. There we go. And I'm just gonna tuck that. Look at that wind out here. That match ain't going nowhere. I like that. I like that little setup. Now I got a little fire going in there. I can place some of the stuff on top. Look how nicely that's quickly burning. And the door's wide open. You see a little bit of smoke coming up here, but don't be deceived. That is also from the metal as well. Let's shut this up. So I don't see any smoke coming from anywhere. The only smoke I saw at first was coming from this fire. <laughs> it wasn't from this, so it tricked me at first. I thought this thing had smoke leakage, but it didn't. This door is working great. You can see a little bit of flame coming in through there, right there, but no smoke. Like that's pulling air in nice. All that oxygen is getting in there, and look at that fire just fueling in there. The stove is running really well. Feel nice heat pumping off the top. It's a great little stove. All right, so this stove is burning really well. I do, I really do like it. It's nice, small, compact won't stick too far out in the tent which is what I like and so far it is pulling in oxygen and, and producing a lot of heat and there's there's not even a lot of wood in there right now I want to burn it in nice and slow so it doesn't do any you know unnecessary deformation in the metal like a little bit of warping in any areas but I don't see any of that happening right now usually you'll see it happening right away I like it I really like this stove been burning these racks are cool to the touch at first you're gonna see especially this has never been burned in before so you're gonna see that creosote build up on the glass as it starts to get up to this temperature it'll start burning that window really clear again I would I believe but still, I can see in there nicely. Oh, I really like this stove. Let's open this door and see what's going on in there. Oh. You know, now maybe I got a little too tight. There's not even a lot of wood in there, and it is burning a lot of heat. Let's close that back up. Oh, yeah, you can hear that. All right, well, that's a wrap. I'm gonna let this stove cool down and pack it away. I wanna give a big thanks to King Camp for sending us out this stove. They also sent us the teepee tent that goes with this stove primarily. They're both fitted for each other. That'll be an upcoming video. So if you got this far, please hit like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when the next video is coming out. And the next video will be the collaboration of that teepee tent in this wood stove and we'll see how well that performs so until then we'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching